Hey y'all, this is Jordan with Rock Mount. What we have to show you today is one of our flagship products called Polaris AAA. Polaris AAA is a low hydrogen rod with 98,000 pounds of tensile and 34% flexibility elongation to it. So what that means is whether you're working with T1 steels, high carbon steels, anything that takes uh, uh, that moisture into a weld zone and makes it more brittle, this will help eliminate that issue. And then also with that, the high tensile strength and the high flexibility, if you have a lot of vibration or heavy weight bearing load, it'll help prevent those cracks next to and through the weld down the road. Some other fun things about this rod is one, just like a lot of our other products, it has a moisture proof coating to it. So that means that if it's either out in the field in a service truck or just sitting on somebody's bench, it'll actually not pick up that moisture and keep that low hydrogen profile to it. Now with this, it will also go through dirt, rust, paint, oil, grease, and grime due to the alloys that we put in it. And those alloys will actually take those products out of the weld and leave you no pinholing or undercutting through that contamination. If you go to our website, rockmountwelding.com, you can look at this Polaris AAA and also one of our rods that's similar called Polaris A. Biggest difference is with this Polaris AAA, you're gonna get a little bit better running characteristics and then also an easier restrike. And lastly, just a little bit more of that tensile strength and flexibility out of this. All right, so now that I've talked about it, we'll actually show what it can do as well. Got a little high temp grease here. I ran some other beans through it. I'll throw some of that on there to show you actually that I'm not just making this up. By no means am I a welder by trade, so don't judge me on this. But I'm gonna show you what this rod can do. I ran a few beans through some of that junk already. This is just a rusty mill scale piece of metal with a little bit of spray paint and that grease that I just squirted on there. Uh, but what I got, I got a little Lincoln Tombstone welder here set to 120 amps and I will actually show you what, as a mediocre welder at best, can do through some of this contamination at a slight downhill uh, uh, pitch here. And then in a second when I'm done, I'll bring that camera up close forward. going on to actually show you that it is grease move this up here close to you so as you can see right through here not too bad for an, unless you're running a mill sales rep huh but through that grease through all of that contamination no undercutting and no pinholing on any of that weld <laughs> 